Hey YouTube, it's Jay Sledge doing a uh, front brake pad replacement on a 2011 Harley Davidson Street Bob. Um, it's a pretty easy job. The uh, caliper mounts right here with these two bolts. Um, they're uh, 10 millimeter 12 point bolts. Um, it's kind of a pain to get them off. So use either a uh, torque wrench like I do, set real high or a uh, breaker bar to peel it off. If you don't have a the 12 point bolt, so if you don't have a socket to take care of that, um, pick one up at Lowe's uh, socket set. It's pretty easy. Uh, comes about twenty dollars. It comes with just about every size you're going to need on this bike, um, which there's a couple throughout the bike. So not a bad investment. Anyway, once you get it off. Um, you can kind of just let it hang. Manual says you can, so it's not a big deal, but try to take off a little tension. Uh, to get the pads out, you're going to have to take off that bolt right there. It's another 10 millimeter 12 point bolt. Take that off. Uh, the pads should come out. If the pads don't, you're going to have to release that bolt right there. Um, but just be careful when you do because it's going to pull apart the halves of the caliper and that's going to uh, put brake fluid all over the place. So have a bucket underneath when you have ready and let's take the pads out. You're going to just uh, in by clips through these retaining pins right here. Just pop it out, clean it, uh, do the best you can, just brake clean or something like that. And then pop them back in. Um, it's pretty simple to do. Uh, you just got to be careful of that little notch right there. Um, one's left, one's right. Anyway, get it back on. Um, use a little bit of thread lock. Put that bolt back through there. Once the caliper is back in, make sure you compress the pistons. Um, or you'll have to pull it off and do it all over again. Compress pistons. Put the caliper back together. Um, start with that bolt. Then throw that bolt in there. Make sure you use a little bit of thread lock glue uh, to get it back on there. And make it nice and tight. And then go ahead and mount it back on the bike. Another again, use a little bit of thread lock. Helps keep it on there a little bit tighter. And uh, that's it. There's really not much else to it. If I skip something, excuse me. I'm not a professional mechanic. Disclaimer. So if you need any help or have any comments. Pretty simple job, so if you have questions or comments, leave them below and I'll try to answer them.